a drow belt. And uh, we found, you can see here, we found the damage here. So you can see there is a split and it's something like cut. Say it's a, just the one layer peeling off the belt. So the car has not been driven after we found this. So we're going to change the belt. To change the belt, so we have a tensioner. We have a tensioner here. So we're going to use, uh, so you see the tensioner, we're going to use a spanner to release the tensioner. And we have a idler there. This is the idler. And we have the uh, alternator. We have the uh, air conditioning pump. We have the power steering pump. I'm using a 16 millimeter socket and I'm also using here uh, Allen key so there is a hole there we're going to turn the tensioner clockwise and with the Allen key I'm putting the Allen key uh, into the hole so here we can see uh, we have a hole over over there on the tensioner we put the allen key there where we turn it there's another hole can lock the tensioner so we're going to do that so now I have turned the tensioner and I have to push the allen key into it and now the tensioner is locked in position so we can remove the drive valve easily here so we're going to remove the drive belt. Uh, remember how rooted. So we just uh, get everything out. So this is a old belt. Just to have a look of the damage. So here the damage. The damage on the top and it's a peeled another layer you can see the light so definitely you don't want to dry with the belt like this so we have got a, a new uh, dry belt so we're going to put it on Now I have put the uh, new belt on. So when you put the new belt on, the stop position by the Allen key is not enough. So it's very tight because it's a new uh, belt. So we need to rotate clockwise a little bit more to have the belt on. we can rotate uh, clockwise and uh, take that uh, allen key out to make the tensioner uh, using the spring to apply tension to the belt so before we release the allen key lock we need to check on every pulley and it's uh, very well seated the bell and every uh, pulley over there and we're going to check before we release the allen key lock so then I found that this uh, new belt installed position it is more than the lock can do so the lock here is uh, just uh, uh, no resistance so uh, we, we just uh, take this allen key out uh, so we just uh, remove this lock and then remove this uh, socket you can see the part number is uh, 6PK1885 1885mm long so that's the part number when you order this 
drive about for BMW E46 and 42 engine. Now I found out why uh, it's uh, tight for for me to put the belt on. The belt I put, even I checked the engine code and it's actually not the right lens so you can see here. It is a 6PK1870. So it's a uh, 15 millimeter short. So that's why it's tight.